Hey guys, how's it going? Just here with a little bit of a new project. If you're wondering what this is, uh, well, you guessed it. I'm uh, going to be hatching some brine shrimp. I bought this kit today. I've been thinking about it for a while. Looking at the do-it-yourselves on uh, YouTube, found some pretty good ones, but uh, when I priced everything that I needed for the do-it-yourself, Believe it or not, it was the same uh, price as this little kit that I got. And, I mean, nothing's more expensive than, uh, you know, convenience. So, it was really convenient and, you know, I don't have to worry about it falling over or anything. So, there you go. Came with uh, this stand, this huge airline, and then uh, the package came with instructions and uh, eggs. So... The eggs are already mixed with the salt and all that, so that's convenient as well. And I was worried about them being too old, but as you can see, they're good till 2013. Uh, but yeah, the packaging at the store looked uh, fairly old to me. And anyway, so it was a uh, it was a perfect deal, so I got it. So I waited. I've only got half the amount of water I need in here right now. Um, they say to use dechlorinate, but I don't have any uh, dechlorinator right now, so I'm using um, the next best thing with this distilled water. I looked it up online. They're the same. Uh, dechlorinated and uh, distilled water are one and the same. Down here at the bottom it says uh, ozonized steam. Um, and then it says dissolved mineral salts, zero parts per million, fluorine ion zero parts per million and then uh, you can see right there so yeah so basically the instructions say to add a liter of water so essentially half of this bottle I cut and then uh, to add the eggs but what you need is what you need to do is a, a one or maybe a two liter bottle of pop and uh, what you do is you cut the bottom out of it and then you flip it over and you screw the lid into this base and then your airline goes through up there it's really really cool <clears throat> so I'm gonna set you down for a second while I fill up the rest Oh, sorry about that So yeah, should be fun. I'm uh, using the uh, brine shrimp to feed my goby, and maybe my clowns might like them some too, but mainly just the goby, because I know the goby likes to hunt down its food source, and it'll be neat to watch. two more of these and then I'm ready to add the eggs so they say that it takes about 24 to 36 hours to hatch and to keep them at around 80 to 82 degrees so I don't have these in my office because As you can hear, it's super loud, and uh, the temperature and and everything fluctuates up there. So I've got it in my kitchen for now. All right, so we're done adding the water. Just put the lid on. All right. So there. Now, it says on the instructions to OK, 
Okay, plug in the air pump so it starts aeration. I'm on that. And it says here, add one packet of hatch mix. So, I've got my hatch mix here. Now, I got a discount because one of the hatch mix is broken open. I think it's the one I just grabbed, so I'll grab another one. That's odd. This one says that it's good till late, uh, December 2012, but the package says used by 2013. Anyways, I'm still good. So, here's the one package, eggs and salt. Okay, now, so, add one package of honey. If you're mixing your own eggs, so yeah, you can also buy just eggs, and you uh, put like, um, in a little little bowl, you can put the eggs, and then you add uh, regular saltwater aquarium salt to mix, um, if you want to do that. You can also do that because uh, I'll run out of, th out of these eventually, but I'll still have this kit. So what I'm going to do is just buy the eggs. Um, so yeah, now uh, I've got the light source, 8 inches. I don't think it's 8 inches away, but I need it to also heat up the water a little bit. So yeah, as you can see, it says eggs should hatch in 24 to 36 hours. So let's pour the eggs in let's see what it says on the back pour one packet of San Francisco Bay brand Sally's Hatch mix in the container keep the temperature between 80 to 82 Fahrenheit maintain a pH of 8.0 or above eggs should hatch in 24 to 36 hours after eggs hatch turn off the aeration device so, I'm cutting into the package. As you can see, taking the top off. There we go. All right. So, pouring it in. go. Package is empty, I think. Let's just get the last couple out of there. There we go. Alright. So, the eggs are in, and they're bubbling around. There's some on the plastic wall. There we go. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, hopefully that stuff comes down, but they're just whirling around in there. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, currently 7.30 p.m. So I guess tomorrow at 7.30 I'll probably shut the air pump off and see what I've got. Maybe I have to wait a little bit longer, maybe I'll be fine. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned for uh, part two where uh, I pull those Brian Shrimp out of there.